We want to simplify the following expressions completely. The first expression is x raised to the power of one-tenth times x raised to the power of three-tenths. Notice how we have a product and the bases are the same and therefore we can apply the product property of exponents shown here, where a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m plus n. So when multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents, which means x raised to the power of one-tenth times x raised to the power of three-tenths is equal to x raised to the power of one-tenth plus three-tenths. And now we need to add the fractions. Notice how we already have a common denominator. One-tenth plus three-tenths is four-tenths. So this equals x raised to the power of four-tenths. But four-tenths does simplify because four and ten share a common factor of two. So to simplify four-tenths, let's divide the numerator and denominator by two which gives us x raised to the power of four divided by two is two, and 10 divided by two is five. So the simplified expression is x raised to the power of two-fifths. Next we have m raised to the power of one-third times m raised to the power of one-half. The bases are the same, and we're multiplying, so we add the exponents, so we have m raised to the power of one-third plus one-half. Notice how here though, we don't have a common denominator. We need to find a common denominator so we can determine the sum. The least common denominator is the least common multiple of two and three, which is six. So we need to write one-third and one-half as equivalent fractions with the denominator of six. So we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of one-third by two and multiply the numerator and denominator of one-half by three. So this gives us m raised to the power of two-sixths plus three-sixths, and two-sixths plus three-sixths is five-sixths, so we have m raised to the power of five-sixths, and because five-sixths doesn't simplify, m raised to the power of five-sixths is the simplified expression for the given product. In our last example, we have three raised to the power of seven-fifths times three raised to the power of six-tenths so again, we're multiplying, the bases are the same, so we add the exponents, so we have three raised to the power of seven-fifths plus six-tenths. Notice how we did not multiply the bases, the base stayed the same. Now we need to find the sum of seven-fifths and six-tenths. The least common denominator is 10, so let's multiply the numerator and denominator of seven-fifths by two. So now we have three raised to the power of, this would be 14 tenths plus six tenths. So we have three raised to the power of 14 tenths plus six tenths is 20 tenths. The 20 tenths is equal to two, so this simplifies to three squared, and three squared is equal to three times three, which equals nine. I hope you found this helpful.